This print just about maxed out the build volume of my Bamboo Lab P1S and took just one and a half hours to print. Through trial and error, I found the best print settings for printing large prints as fast as possible so you don't have to. In this video, I'm going to show you what I learned. Now before we get started, I need to provide a disclaimer. The goal of this video and the print settings I'm about to show is to print the largest object I could in the shortest amount of time. I am not focusing on print quality here. I'm using a larger nozzle, a coarse layer height, and I'm using ludicrous mode. Obviously, if quality is important to you, you would not be using this setup. I just wanted to show the maximum speed capabilities of this printer for entertainment purposes. Okay, so this is the vase model I'm working with. Now I have scaled up the original model by 200%, so this is twice the size as the original. And I'm gonna be running through some of the settings that I have found to work really well for printing at insane print speeds. In my case, I have a 0.6 millimeter nozzle installed. Check out my other video here if you'd like to see how to install different size nozzles. And I am also printing in ludicrous mode, which prints 66% faster than the default print speed. Okay, so now let's go through the settings that I'm using. For filament, I am using a generic PLA here. Now on this first page, there are two very important settings that I have changed. If you scroll to the bottom, you will see the max volumetric flow speed. Now for Bamboo Lab PLA, this is set to 21 millimeter cube per second. And for generic PLA, the default is I think around 12 millimeter cube per second. So Bamboo Lab is really slowing down the print speeds when using a generic PLA. So I've cranked this up to just about the same flow speed as the official Bamboo Lab. PLA. Now the second setting on this first page is I have increased the nozzle print temperature up to 240 degrees Celsius after the first layer. This is extremely important when you're printing in sport or ludicrous mode. You need to heat up the filament a lot more than the default when you're printing at these print speeds. For this print I'm using 0.3 millimeter layer height because I have found when using ludicrous mode, the printer simply cannot push enough filament through the nozzle at even larger layer heights. Okay, so now let's jump into the process settings. For this print specifically, this is a vase, and so I have turned on vase mode. You can find this in the other tab here in the process settings. And about halfway down through this page, you'll see spiral vase. And in case you aren't familiar with vase mode, what it does is it prints one single wall per layer. So for objects like this, which have very thin walls, the nozzle will continue in a circular pattern. This really increases the speed for objects like this. And now jumping over to the strength tab here, as I mentioned for vase mode, you will only have one wall loop for each layer. And I've also selected one down to the bottom shell layer. So there's also just one layer on the print bed. Jumping over to the speed tab, I've turned up the first layer speed slightly to 50 millimeters per second. Okay, so jumping over to preview here, you will see that my print time is two and a half hours to print this vase. Now two hours and 31 minutes is 151 minutes. And if I divide this by 1.66, this will give you the time in minutes that this will take in ludicrous mode. So hitting enter here, I am printing this entire vase in 90 minutes. Okay, here's the time lapse printing this vase in vase mode at ludicrous speed in just one and a half hours. And taking a closer look at this print, you will notice that it is not perfect. There are some gaps in the filament layers at the top of these honeycombs towards the bottom. And there's also very fine sections at the top of the honeycombs as well where the print layers are not as thick. Finally, at the bottom where the overhangs are the largest, you will see that there are some imperfections where the layers are not adhering well to each other. This is due to printing at these insane print speeds. This does not give the filament time to cool and adhere to each other. However, for the most part, this print still looks pretty good, especially as a decoration, and you could also even put flowers inside of it. That's pretty much it. I'll put a link for this vase file in the description below so you can download this for yourself if you'd like. And if you want to see me put my mechanical engineering degree to work by designing and printing projects, be sure to subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you in the next one.